It's Christmas. Welcome back to San Antonio Living. Our annual treats and each show it's continues. Going. If you're throwing a holiday party this season, we've got some great ideas for you. Wine, drinks, appetizers, something for everybody. And we do want to let you know we have all of the recipes on our website. All you need to do is go to saliving.com and then give it a try. You've got a couple of days to go before the holidays really kick in. And our friends from the Weston La Cantera are joining us now. We have got uh, Executive Chef John W. Armstrong the fourth with us, Thank along with much, Albert Jeff. Trujillo, helping us out this morning. Thank you both so much for coming by. Thank you very much for having us. Wow, what a spread. Can you just come over to my house like this? Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's take this table to my house. We're good to go. What are we going to be making this morning? We're going to make a smoked duck, and it had hickory, cho hickory chips that were smoked and soaked mm. in cavassier. Mm. And Wonderful. then they were salt packed with kosher salt, fresh thyme, black pepper okay. for about an hour. And I'm going to take the duck and cut it into uh, some small pieces. It was uh, cured for an hour okay. and then rinsed, and then it was smoked for about three minutes each side. And basically, it, what it does is it cures it, and we come out with this product, and it's actually cooked all the way through, but it's pink. So if you'd like to Ooh, try, try a piece, okay, yes, ma'am. Duck is okay. really good. Mm. Then what we're going to do, because this is because oh, it's salt cured, whoa, it has on, a little that's bit of wonderful. The, that is so good. Thank you. Mm. It has a little bit of the the hickory and the cavassier and the salt and the fresh thyme and cracked black pepper. Wow. They go really well with some a sweet fall things. So mm -hmm. what we did here is, and I already have a mixed here, but basically okay. we have kumquats, which we've taken equal parts of sugar and water and cut it and it turned into candied kumquats, which is right here. We have nice. pomegranate seeds, toasted cashews, which are just a little bit of oil, cashews, a little bit of kosher salt, and popped in the oven. And then the fresh thyme, obviously, is with the dish. So oh, we wow. put this in here. We mix it up. OK, it goes into a little. And some of the things, if you notice around this table, it's nice to play with different types of dishes. Mm -hmm. at, at home, if you, like for instance, we have satays. Uh, they're in little shot glasses. Or we have um, you know, little rectangular plates. So we put a little bit of that salad right in the middle, and that actually had a little bit of this, which is um, the pomegranate uh, and uh, caramelized kumquat syrup. Wow. And then we, what we do is take a piece of fresh thyme. So you're putting together like a, a sweet and a salty and a little bit of crunch, which is Correct. like when you're cooking and, and you're trying to really appease the palate, you've got to have that great mix of different flavors. Otherwise, you know... It's it's not the same. Yes, That's what we're all trying to achieve. When oh look at your so tiny it's just a mini dish. mini appetizer there. <laughs> look at that. And so that's the duck. And wow, we, I you know that we, looks beautiful. It's simple. It's rustic, and it's easy to put together. And we have some things that are very easy, much simpler, okay. and some things that are more difficult. So yeah. the crab tini, which is basically uh, 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 guacamole, that for lack of better words, that's been diced up and it's mixed with jumbo lump crab and some smoked paprika plantain chips. Very nice. A crab teeny is like your basic crab salad. And the cool thing about when you're doing holiday parties at home, if you take your dish and you put it in, you know, an abnormal dish, not on a plate, but instead in a martini glass, it really elevates right. your dish and you look like you know what you're doing. We're right? using ingredients from <laughs> Christmas. We have, this is actual peppermint crusted lo lo lollipop lamb chops with crushed peppermint on it. Ooh, wow. We have Peruvian potatoes. We call them Peruvian dots with a mini fillet. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. Correct, with shallots and roasted fig demi. What do we have going on here with these, these little sticks? Uh, these are different satays and they're skewered with different things. This is a lemongrass shrimp with okay. an Asian emulsion. This is a, a sugarcane pork loin with a citrus glaze a smoked beef with honey chipotle drizzle and a chicken with barbecue sauce. So if you're doing that at home, use your little kebab sticks and throw it in shot glasses and that makes cute little individual servings that you Correct. can use. What about this? This looks like a fun dish. It's a chicken tinga lettuce wrap, which basically is Boston bib lettuce and the chicken tinga is chipotle and pico and cilantro and tequila and it's a, a nice little dish. And we have uh, mushroom mix. These are nice things to do at home because they're very simple. You make the mix with its bruschetta and then you use different types of crostini. So this one's a fresh thyme and mushroom. Okay, right here. Which is Madeira, shallots, garlic, mm. and wild mushrooms crushed. Yeah. And this one is a uh, roasted tomato, shaved garlic, and basil with crostini. Half the battle really is in how you make it look. Once you get the items done, they look gorgeous. Albert's bringing something else in this morning. What do we have here? Lobster medallions with pickled red onions, mint, uh, grapes, uh, and uh, orange segments wow. on a spoon. So. Very nice. Okay, so here's my question. If 
I'm not willing to make all this at home. I could just come out to the West yes. of La Cantera, and you could do all of this for me, right? right? You can come out for legendary holidays and then okay. have a meal afterward at either Brandon's or Francesca's or the Grill, and, and we would love to have you out, or at the Palmer. Yeah. I know you, yeah, you guys are open all the time because you are a resort, but you can make reservations for Christmas Fr Eve and Christmas Day also, right? Yes, for Francesca's. Okay, so. lots of good stuff going on. Take a look at these gorgeous dishes, and hopefully they'll sort of, uh, I don't know, inspire the home chef in you to try to create something new and plate it up a little bit differently. Cool. And I'm telling you, all of your friends will not be able to stop talking about the spread. Maybe, maybe I might just come out and You can come out and visit us. We <laughs> okay. would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for coming by Thank today. You. Weston La Quintera is where you can find all of these beautiful dishes. Enjoy them over the holidays. The information is up on your screen. You can go to westonlaquintera.com for more information if you would like to make a reservation for a Christmas Eve dinner, Christmas Day dinner, or even New Year's Eve, which is right around the corner. You can give them a call at 5 Five five eight six five zero zero. All right, I bet you need something to drink at this point, right? Well, we're going to show you how to make a.